All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a wax slug the hard way uh, out of a, let's see, you get that in frame, seven and a half shot. I think this is, win yeah, Winchester. Um, so I call this the hard way because you really don't need to do this. Iraq Veteran 8888 shows the easiest way, which is just taking the shot directly out of this by taking the top off and pouring it into a pot with some wax. And... Uh, so I'm kind of taking that a step further by putting it in an old slug. This uh, this was already fired. This is a two and three quarter slug. I think it was a one ounce. Uh, so the first step is taking the primer out. You just take uh, a normal tool that you'd use. Uh, what did I use? I think I used a hex drive and I, uh, I punched it out of there. See, no primer. And I put it in here and gently tapped it in. And then I removed the powder and the wad but you see I already got the wad in here kinda of did the steps in my room and those are down in there you wanna make sure you get that in as tight as you can then of course the shot you dump in a pot with some wax this is an old candle and I got more shot and I'm just turning it on low that way I don't burn it because if it smokes that's bad Goodness. So let me try to think of some advantages. Well, uh, you got the longer neck on this. That's obviously an advantage. Um, not really a whole lot of advantages. Uh, you, it gives you more space. You see, I got a little more space there. Usually when you cut it, the, uh, the wad is sticking out on the rim. So that does give you a lot of space, and you could fill that up with the, with the wax. And I tried to cut this flush, but it's not going to fit my shotgun all that well. And this piece you can just discard because there's no use for it. Okie doke. Waiting for this to be done. I'm almost there. Let me show you. Get a light. Okay, screw you too. Well, anyways, so yeah, you could see the shot in there. Yeah, the audio kind of sucks in the video too because I'm doing this on a tablet. Kind of a new, new interest for me. So I'll go ahead and turn you over here and show you what to do. So this is already good and done. I'm going to get something to put underneath this so that I don't get wax everywhere. Spoon. Let's go ahead and keep my spoon up. Keep that flame going. See, I'm heating it up. All right. All right. Let's try to make it easy for you guys to see. So then you just pick up your shot, you see you got the spoonful, put it right on in there. Usually I do four or five shows at the same time, so this is kind of interesting. It's very hard to do it with just one. <laughs> Trying to scrape the bottom of the barrel. Of course you're not going to be able to get all of it, as normal with a lot wax slug, you always miss a few. Right. Okie doke, and I top that off. Alright, bring you over here to see it. Alright. 
there. See that is at the very top edge. I got quite a bit of shot in there. So that should turn out awesome. Can't wait to see how it does. Shoot a water gallon with it and yeah, I'll have to do that in a later video. Alright, well, uh, so that's how to do a wax slug the hard way. Um, well, that and you'll probably get more uses out of this. You could probably uh, do the exact same thing, whew, maybe like 20 times, I don't know. You could do it a lot, because you don't have you don't have this to fail on you, this little plastic piece. Uh, you could do the same with this. Winchester is really nice for hand loading. Uh, I'm going to get in the hand loading soon. Uh, I really can't wait. I think I'm buying the, the Lee something all, the Lee load all, and I'm going to start loading my own shells for hunting. Alright, yep, that's it. Uh, please comment and like. I haven't done very many gun videos on my channel, and I'd like to start doing more so I could use some support. Alright, thanks.